Thank you for joining us at Second Calvary Baptist Church. Please take this opportunity to check in on our Facebook page at Second Calvary. To recap special moments throughout the service, use the official hashtag pound SCBC Norfolk. Good morning, SCBC. Are you interested in acting? Well, the drama ministry is back and we'll have a kickoff meeting on Thursday, July 20th at 7 p.m. If you have any questions, please contact Brother William Bynum or Sister Elsie Goodrum. See you this Thursday. Attention all, especially NSU students and alumni. Come be a part of the freshman move-in day at Norfolk State University on August 12th from 8 a.m. until 3 p.m. Sign-up sheets are available on the table outside of room 11 or see any of the ministry leaders. Move-in day will consist of giving campus directions, passing out water, and promoting the ministries of SCBC. The deadline for sign-up is July 23rd. For more information, contact Sister Talitha Parker at discipleship at secondcavalry.org. The W.H. Gray Men's Ministry proudly presents Ronnie McAdoo, a.k.a. Mac, as the guest speaker on August 7th. Mac is the executive director of the Urban Discovery Ministries located in the city of Norfolk. He is also a member of the Tabernacle Church of Norfolk. He is an alumni of Old Dominion University and credited with being the most prolific scorer and rebounder in the school history. He is the father of James Michael McAdoo, a member of the 2017 NBA champion Golden State Warriors. Come here from a man whose ministry and passion is outreach. This event will be held at the Church Fellowship Hall and is open to all teenagers and adults. Light refreshments will be served. The children are scheduled to serve on Sunday, July 30th during both 7.45 a.m. and 10 a.m. worship services. The attire is a solid white top, neckties for the boys, and a solid khaki bottom. The children should arrive by 7.40 a.m. and 9.50 a.m. The next baby dedication ceremony is scheduled for Sunday, July 30th, immediately following the 7.45 a.m. worship service. Please contact the church office at 757-627-8462 if you wish to have your child be a part of the baby dedication ceremony. We ask that you sign up by Tuesday, July 25th. Our Hopeful Project Ministry will host a picnic on Saturday, August 5th from 12 to 2 p.m. Come join us at the Ocean View Community Beach in Norfolk for hot dogs, hamburgers, evangelism, and preaching. All ages are welcome to volunteer. So if you want to be a part or you want to find out more about how we serve the community, join our planning meeting on Wednesday, July 19th at 6.30 p.m. This is a call to action to the men of Second Cavalry. As you all know, we have been hosting the 900 Men Strong Scholarship Breakfast for the last seven years. For the first time, it is our vision for the men's ministry to award our own scholarship for a student that attends Booker T. Washington High School and plans to further their college education at the Norfolk State University. In order to make our vision a reality, we are asking each and every man at Second Cavalry to contribute $100 towards this effort. Your $100 contribution will include a ticket for the 2018 900 Men Strong Prayer Breakfast and the remaining funds will go towards our very own scholarship. Men, we must lead by example and take ownership of our event. We need you to stand with us and make history for our men's ministry and make a difference and lasting impact between our young black men and our community schools of Booker T. Washington High School and Norfolk Street University. Men, let's take charge. Stand up for the cause. Stand up for your church. Stand up for our future generations. Stand up for our community. We will be accepting money today. All monies can be received by Brother Phil Brooks, Leonard Parson, Tyrone Walker, or Brother Larry Huey. It is our goal to conclude our fundraising efforts by August. Be a part. If you want to know more about what's taking place at Second Cavalry Baptist Church, check out our What's Up newsletter or visit our website at www.secondcavalry.org. This is SCBC TV.